Hello everyone. My name is Amina Nalawi and in today's presentation I'll be talking about empowering L2 writing instructors. So empowering writing instructors entails becoming more conscious with regard to exploring what we do in the classrooms, which in effect will help us examine our own teaching practices and beliefs in a different lens. As L2 writing teachers, we need to actually have an interest in composition. Do we actually journal? Do we take notes? Do we write frequently? And how frequently do we write? We also have an interest in going out of our way to research a certain topic with regard to L2 writing. Do we know the distinctive features of writing in the first language versus the target language? What do we know about feedback? Do we know if feedback helps or does it hinder our students' writing ability? So these are a lot of the things that we have to take into consideration when it comes to being an L2 writing instructor. When we become empowered as writing instructors, we begin to actively question our own classroom practices and beliefs. These practices provide us with a chance to transform our own traditional ways of thinking about students and thinking about pedagogy, and embrace new ways of looking at a specific situation or a specific problem. Uh, for example, we can ask ourselves why, uh, by examining a certain task, why it flopped, why students didn't do well on it, or why students didn't understand um, some grammar points that was discussed previously in class. So first we'll look at why is it that important to become conscious of what we do in our own classroom. Well, first and foremost, it gives us responsibility. We are responsible for our own classroom. Secondly, it empowers us and gives us a new perspective on what we do and how we see our own classroom. So the first important purpose of reflecting on our own classroom practices is responsibility. So since we have first-hand experience into the inner workings of our own classrooms, we have to remember to be responsible and take great care to closely examine any of the problems that arise during our classroom sessions. So the second purpose for exploring our teaching practices is empowerment. So when you have outside influences or outsiders from our classrooms that begin to analyze our teaching practices and beliefs and start to do research in our classrooms, this begins to feel a little disempowering and teachers begin to rely more on the system, on the outside system of researchers to help solve any issues that arise in the classroom. Yes, we do take into consideration what researchers and what our supervisors say about our teaching, but we must understand that we can also make informed decisions with regard to our teaching practices by just reflecting and discussing what's happening in our classrooms. So empowerment also means gaining a new perspective, a new outlook, a new lens on looking into our classrooms. So when we start to consciously reflect on the inner workings of our classrooms, we begin to break down this we-they notion that only college professors are the ones that are able to do research. For example, one simple example of doing research in your own classroom is by keeping track of a particular student's writing errors. And with that, you have a simple research project that you have actually diagnosed and will implement. So why is this all important? So when we become empowered, we start to reflect more on our classroom practices. We start to see things with a different lens and we begin to identify problem areas that we seem to have neglected or overlooked.
So how do we become more responsible, more empowered? How do we gain a new perspective? Well, here I've listed some mechanisms for change, such as observation, action research, journaling, and collaborative work. These are powerful mechanisms that will help us answer those nagging questions of why something or why a certain thing is not working in our classroom. They help us raise our conscious level in order to understand our pedagogical beliefs and practices. The first technique to help us become empowered in our own classrooms and gain more responsibility is observation. When we observe, we start to compare and begin to gain self-knowledge and self-insight of our own teaching techniques. Only when we have self-awareness of our teaching are we then able to generate alternative ways of teaching, presenting, or interacting with students. Action research is another way to become more empowered, to become more reflective in our own classrooms. So action research entails improving practice and generating knowledge. It's a small scale intervention that comes within our classrooms where we closely examine firsthand the effects of a certain intervention. So first, we signal that we experience a problem. And then you think about a solution and then you evaluate the outcome of that solution and you try to modify it. So it's a cyclical approach to examining our classrooms, taking action, collecting the evidence, and then reflecting upon it until we are satisfied with the result. Keeping a journal entry or a diary is a means to auto-assess. We can express our accomplishments without any judgment, and it helps us track any changes that we've seen over time in our own classroom. For collaborative work, we can collaborate with other teachers because teaching doesn't have to be a lonely profession. We can set up a journal club, a mentoring program, a study group. These are important components for an effective professional development. So how do I become more empowered? Where to begin with all this? Well, first and foremost, we have to ask ourselves, do we actually write? How often do we write? Do we reflect on what's happening in our own classrooms? Do I have anything at my disposal, any resources, any books, any journals in order to help me grow professionally? Do I discuss with my peers with regard to my instructional practices and beliefs? Do I attend any conferences or any webinars? If you like, do I actually go out of my way help myself reflect on my classroom practices, practices in order to become more empowered. So we as educators, as instructors, need to take personal responsibility for our own professional growth. This will give us a sense of empowerment where we can transform our teaching practices instead of just relying on external support or external researchers in order to help us become more self-aware and self-conscious with regard to our own pedagogical beliefs and practices. Thank you for listening to my poster presentation and I wish the best of luck to all the other presenters at this conference. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or feel free to email me with regard to the reference list. Thank you and have a good day.